What's up, guys? Zach Calhoun here, co-founder of CloudPanel.com. I'm excited you're here today because we got a brand new feature announcement. I'm going to show you how to get your virtual tours onto Google Street View, which is so awesome, and it's taken our team a lot of hard work to get us to this point. So I'm excited to show it off today. If you don't know what Cloud Piano is, Cloud Piano is a virtual tour software platform where you can create beautiful. 360 virtual tours. Check us out at cloudpano.com and try the platform for free today. Go sell some virtual tours or make one of your business. And then when you're ready, click upgrade and get on the Pro Plus um, dashboard. Okay, when you click try it out now at cloudpano.com, it takes you right to the app. I'm already logged in, so you see this is what you see whenever you're there. Now, if we go to our dashboard, we'll see three tabs here, a new tab that says published to GSV. So I've done some example tours here and I'm gonna make an example for you guys right now. GSV stands for Google Street View. So I'm gonna give some quick context to what that is. When you go to Google Maps and you type in a business, say a fitness studio, for example, and you click on that fitness studio, or you click on a taco shop, etc. you can click on the photos and then click Street View 360 and it will show the interior of a business. So a really big deal because it shows the inside of a small business owner's business, how awesome it is, how clean it is, how wonderful it looks. And as a virtual tour creator, you can create these on cloudpano.com because we have a full integration built, which is really neat. So how do we do this? What are the steps? Um, let me show you. So when you're at your dashboard at app.cloudpayo.com forward slash tours, all you have to do is click create a tour, just like, just like you normally would. And we're going to call this, I'm going to call it example two, because I had one earlier, F45GSV. GSV stands for Google Street View. Okay. So when I click select photos, uh, I can go to my examples. Let me pull up my examples here. I have a whole tour already shot of seven photos. I'm gonna add that to the tour. Now, typically I would upload a virtual tour, we call hosted tours on the Cloud Panel Editor. And within a few seconds, um, the examples appear in our editor. Well, now if I'm moving my face over to here, there is a new, new option. If you click this little orange band, let me get myself full screen here to make, make it a little easier, easier to see. You click him. And you're all of a sudden in our Google Street View Editor. When you, uh, well, some small instructions appear here. You can read through those, but I'm going to show them to you right now. So you click uh, Start Creating, and you have to authorize yourself with your Google account. So I'm just going to use my, my Google account. It will say authorization, authorization Successful. It will fire back over to here. It will say you're logged in. Then you're going to want to type in the address of the location. So I'm showing you an an example of F45 Greatwood. Click next. Those photos I already uploaded to this tour are available here, where I can add more if I want to. I'll click next step. Now that I'm ch double checking some of my information here, it looks like I got the address right. All seven photos are there, and my Google account is set up. So I then click create or move forward here, and you could see that we have. I'm gonna reduce the size of this image here or of this video. You can see here that we have an editor, a new editor appearing that we can create Google Street View tours. Okay, so the photos I've already uploaded are right here to the right. And I just want to add them one at a time and I want to set the north location. So I click on photo one. I want to actually set which direction is north. So right here, this button that says set north, I click set north. And now we're going to tell Google Okay, this is, we know which direction north is. So I'm going to actually move this over to the corner because it's in the corner of this particular um, area. So I know I know where it's located. Now it's in the right spot. I'm going to add my next photo. I'm going to click the check mark box. I'm going to move this again to the correct location, which is about right here. Actually, I'll move one over here, move two right there. And then I'm going to click, um, I'm going to make sure that's facing the north location. Click set north, just like that. So same thing, I'm gonna move a little bit fast here. So number three, you just drag and drop where you wanna put it, set which direction is north, then on to the next one. Number four, put the check mark box. I know this is in the other corner, so I'm gonna move, move back over here. Then I'm gonna rotate because I know where the north location is. 
And let's click number five, a little check mark box. Make sure it's in the right spot approximately. Make sure it's facing north. Then click set north. Then I'm gonna connect my next photo. Just like that, it's very simple. Uh, it shouldn't take you long. Uh, make sure that this one is facing north. Click set north, cool. Now I'm gonna add my outside photo. Click the check box here. Move, move it over to outside. Make sure it's facing north, which it is. Click set north. Okay, cool. Now all my, all my images are here and they're connected over here in this, in this left little area. What I wanna do now is I wanna connect these photos to each other. So it's all based on what experience I want to create, right? So in this case, this is image seven. I want image seven, image one to connect with each other. So all I have to do is click this plus button, click the check mark box and it's connected. So if, I'm, if I have image one selected and I want it to connect to image six, all I have to do is click the six button. I'm sorry, the six pl uh, plus button, and then click the check mark box and it's connected, right? So at this point, I can just really connect all the photos I want to, or all the locations I want to connect to it, and then uh, kind of customize the experience. So I want six to connect to two here probably. So I'm gonna click two, click the check box here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna select image five, have it connect to image three, and probably I'll do image two here as well. So, oop, I'm moving, moving a little too fast. That's all right. Image five, I have selected. And then image two, I want to connect. Cool. Just like that. So that's how that works. Um, and you can, uh, and it looks like I have about three connections for each location here, except for this front one, which only has two, which is fine. That's, that looks good to me. So um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click publish to GSV. Okay. So yes, publish tour. Give a little bit of time here. And what you'll notice is <clears throat> we give you some more instructions as we create this, uh, this virtual tour. We'll say your tour is uploading to Google. So we have some instructions here. I'm gonna go ahead and read them to you because they're important. Okay, your tour will be viewable on GSV in a couple hours. Your tour is successfully published, but it takes Google a couple hours to process your data. In the meantime, sit back and relax. We will email you when Google has confirmed receipt, receipt recipient of your tour, uh, if you need to make any edits, go ahead and make changes and click publish again. You can edit your tour anytime and we will send the latest to Google. Okay, so I'm gonna click return to editor. Now we have some different data here. So we have, it's processing seven out of seven photos, the email, the address, the seven photos that were connected and we know that it's a Google Street View tour, which once it's uploaded, we'll be able to click this link and go to the Street View example and look at it. Now, this will take some time. We uh, give some feedback that says 48 hours to uh, get this up, uploaded and connected and face in the right direction. In my experience, it may take more time for Google to process these tours correctly. So be patient, give it some time. Um, most of the delay is on the other side, not from us. We send all the right data, send the locations, send the correct North Point, send the correct uh, connections, and send all the images. It just takes a little bit of time for all, all of that to propagate. Remember, it's a, a large platform, a lot's going on, so just gotta be patient with it. You can definitely email our support staff and see the process and the progress, but overall, um, it's just gonna take a little bit of time sometimes. That's, that's just how things work. So I hope you enjoy this feature. I hope it helps you in your business. I hope you get lots of Google Street View tours created and uploaded. And in general, this helps you, um, helps you uh, whether you're a virtual tour provider and you want to offer this as an additional service, whether you're a marketer and you want to help people with SEO and help people with their local business, or whether you're a local business owner and looking to just create a Street View tour for your business, use cloudpano.com, use professional 360 photos, um, make your interior look amazing, rank SEO higher, be a better experience for your potential cl uh, clients or customers or leads that are in your local area. And, um, and when you're ready, go to cloudpano.com and become a Pro Plus member because that's how you make these awesome tours on Cloud Pano. It's a really big deal, really awesome and super helpful. So Keep an eye out, everybody. Keep an eye out for more additional content and information on our YouTube channels. Make sure you subscribe. Click the like button wherever you can. Make sure you check out our Facebook 
Facebook page for Cloud Pano. Follow us, subscribe to our newsletter. We have some really cool stuff coming. If you are an entrepreneur, we're going to help you by giving you more information, data, processes, and um, training that can help the small business owner grow his business and you sell Street View Tours, sell Google My Business Optimization, and help folks just help folks with their business, uh, help them grow. So use this tool as one piece in your marketing equation um, and then keep hustling. I'm excited you guys are here. Let's get to work. See ya.